Several countries like the United States, Britain, Jordan and France are dropping aid regularly by parachute in the northern part of Gaza. Humanitarian groups have warned that a severe shortage of food is coming because of the ongoing war. Well, this war started after a massacre by Hamas on October 7th. But on Tuesday, two people were killed in Gaza when an aid pallet crashed into a warehouse after its parachute failed to open. People had gathered in the warehouse to get the aid supplies. Apart from Israel attack, at least 21 people have been killed when airdrop of aid has gone wrong and an unverified number has been given by Hamas authorities in Gaza. Now, Hamas has called for an end to airdrop of aid after two Palestinians were killed in northern Gaza. Hamas said, we retaliate that airdrop pose a real danger to the lives of citizens and do not provide a real solution to alleviate the food crisis plaguing northern Gaza. We call for an immediate halt to the delivery of aid in this ineffective manner and we call for the full activation of the land crossing to deliver humanitarian aid to northern Gaza. Earlier on March 9, five children were allegedly killed in the Gaza Strip by a humanitarian aid drop. On the other hand, according to the British commanders, the airdrop organized by a group of Western and Arab countries using Jordan as a base are a lifeline for hungry Palestinians in Gaza. Now, if we talk about the war, then one major land crossing into Gaza was shut down after a Hamas rocket attack, another by an Israeli incursion, and only a trickle of aid is entering through a third crossing that just opened in recent weeks. Now, what happened next in the war, only time will tell. But till then, do follow India.com's international affairs for further update.